gentlemen. I know there's been a lot of anticipation for tonight's show, so thanks everybody for coming to hang out. Um, you know, tonight's show uh, is definitely dedicated to you as the Smite community. Um, just adjusting my mic here. Um, so, uh, you know, tonight's show kind of was sparked directly off of the fact of uh, I was streaming on Smite Game the other week, and somehow we got talking about like streaming and like what's the best way to stream and equipment and settings and all that fun stuff. And there was a ton of questions, um, a lot of open-ended questions, you know, people concerned about this and that, and does this work? And do I have enough internet? And is my video card good enough? And, um, you know, is my CPU strong enough and stuff like that? So uh, I actually started to talk to uh, high res studios about it. Um, high res Gavin, um, and also high res Duke, the community manager and kind of say, you know, Hey, is there a demand for this out there? I want to make sure that you know uh, I'm fulfilling this gap. And Hi-Res loved it um, and uh, spoke uh, with uh, some of the individuals there about it. And uh, they were like, um, you know, people had kind of said, uh, you know, hey, do it. You know, Hi-Res was all about it. Um, somebody in the chat said it froze, um, so I want to make sure like. Stream isn't freezing or anything like that. Um, anyways, so High Res Studios said definitely roll with it. Uh, we definitely want to promote it. Uh, we want to push it and stuff like that. So kudos to High Res Studios for uh, retweeting uh, the post um, and uh, good to go from there. Uh, so once again, if you guys are just coming to check me out, um, my name is Octane Pro. Um, I am a community content provider in the Smite community. Um, my, my background is in um, production when it comes to uh, Twitch videos. Uh, along with podcasting. Uh, those of you guys know me directly from a lot of the podcast out there. Um, I do Smite Talk podcast on Smite Game every Sunday at 7 o'clock p.m. Eastern. And then I also do Smite Update podcast, which is more of a community-based podcast going over patches, esports, and community content every week on my own channel right here. Um, so uh, kind of moving forward, if you guys want to check out my content before we roll into everything, uh, my community website is directed be directly below. Um, it is octaneprogaming.com, and if you actually go on there, you can view all the podcasts. Once again, uh, I'll put the link in chat. It's also right to blow, guys. The little squares below my stream. Um, octaneprogaming.com is the uh, name of the website. You can see my podcast over there, all my YouTube videos. I have two YouTube channels uh, along with my PC specs. Um, so I know a lot of people tonight will be asking about, you know, what, what are your specs on your machine? Um, you know, what are you using? What's your layout? Stuff like that. Um, so it's all over there. Um, so please go ahead and check it out. Um, and make sure you follow on, on this stream if you guys aren't already so you can be notified when I go live every, uh, every day um, with my content. So um, <clears throat> we're going to go over a variety of different content today. Some of this might be very repetitive for some of you. Some of it might not be whatsoever and be brand new. Um, so some of this information, you know, sorry if it's repetitive for you. Um, you're a little farther, um, you know, beyond some of the other people that are here. Um, but we're going to have all different types of things we're going to talk about. Uh, we're going to go through setting up. Um, OBS, setting up XSplit, uh, how to set up certain things within them. Uh, we're going to go over the hardware uh, side of things. We're going to go over the network side of things as well. Uh, what software is out there that you can and can't use? Um, we're also going to go into details as to, you know, hey, what are some what are some benefits? What are some good tips and tricks in order to uh, kind of increase your viewer base, increase the quality of your stream? And uh, then we're also going to go into troubleshooting, you know, how you troubleshoot issues with OBS. Uh, how you troubleshoot issues with XSplit um, and the best ways to troubleshoot them. Uh, keep in mind, if you guys catch this kind of halfway through or you guys have to leave, it will be up on my YouTube channel. Uh, the YouTube channel is, I'll put it directly into chat. It is youtube.com slash the smite update. So uh, all the VODs will be up on this YouTube channel and uh, they'll be broken up. Um, so I'll put it into one playlist and break them up depending on the segment that we're talking about. Um, so with, without wasting too much time, I know you guys are like super, ah, I want to hear information. Um, let's go ahead and jump into it. So our first section uh, we're going to talk about is what type of hardware is really required to stream on Twitch. Um, when you're streaming, forget video card, forget memory. It all comes down to your CPU. Uh, the CPU is the brain of your computer, you know, um, pretty much is the main focus. That's, if you guys are not familiar, a little silver uh, thing in your computer on your motherboard most of the time, 100% uh, of the time actually has a heat sink on top of it. Um, the CPU uh, is very much what you hear when people talk about Intel or AMD. Um, that's kind of the CPU there uh, that they're referring to. 
And um, when you and the reason the CPU is the most important thing is because of the encoding. Um, we do all of the encoding, and what encoding is is you know when you sh when you create this video that you see in front of you right now, and the encoding what happens is it takes the video re-encodes re-encode, it and then pushes it out to Twitch's servers. Um, there's no encoding specifically going on. Uh, I don't want to get into full details on what goes on on Twitch's side. There is some additional little encoding for the different levels of resolution, but most of that entire encoding level before it goes to Twitch is done on your computer. So that's why like if you kick off your, um, your stream, you'll notice like if you have your task manager up, your CPU like usage whoosh, goes through the roof. Um, you know, right now my CPU usage, if I look over, is about 50% right now. Um, and uh, my setup's a little different. Uh, we'll talk about that as we get later on into the stream. Not exactly a basic beginner setup. Um, so, talking about CPUs, um, there's two major brands out there, Intel and AMD. And the kind of, um, you know, statistics out there in the community on what we really need is a minimum CPU, if you look at your tower or you have a sticker on it or you built your computer, um, minimum, minimum for streaming is a Core 2 Duo. Um, that is the level, so it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a dual core, um, <clears throat> you know, Intel chip you can look at or even an AMD chip. Now that's minimum. And, and if we're talking minimum, we're talking you jump on someone's channel and it almost looks like a huge fuzziness across the entire screen. Um, and, and that is, you know, that's minimal. That is just getting by. Um, not really, you know, it, that's minimal and I'm not going to recommend it. Reason being is because you're not, you as a gamer are not, not going to want to jump on someone's channel and watch Smite in full fuzz. Like, just fuzzy, not looking very good. I don't recommend it. It's not an enjoyable experience. So, if you're at that level, I wouldn't consider doing it. Reason being is because, think of it. Think of what you're going to go out there and watch yourself. You're not going to go out there and watch somebody that has this crazy, fuzzy-looking screen setup. They might be the most entertaining person in the world, but if the quality is not very good, no one's going to enjoy it. So looking at that, if you're running a Core 2 Duo, I would recommend saving your pennies and peanuts and, and purchasing something a little bit beefier. Now, the, the kind of <clears throat> average we'll put it at, okay? This is kind of the, hey, this is what we recommend. So we're going to have minimal, recommended, and optimal. Um, so we just talked about uh, minimal being your core to do, and now we're going to talk about recommended. So when we're talking about the recommended uh, for a CPU, uh, and if you guys are just joining, you know the CPU as I'm talking about is the most important thing about streaming. Um, the CPU uh, recommended is a quad core. Uh, there's all different levels of quad cores depending in series and stuff like that. Uh, a very well known quad core is an i5 series, um, and uh, Quad core CPU is definitely something that we say is is kind of you know recommended, but not optimal. So keep that in mind that you know if you're streaming, um, you know an i5 quad core you know will get you by. Um, now keep in mind that when you're streaming, you know you're putting a lot of taxing uh, you know behavior on your CPU. Well, you're also think of it, you're going to have your game up, so the game is going to be additional you know resources. Uh, game will take up some of your graphics cards, some of your memory, and some of your CPU. So, uh, depending on our settings that we discuss moving forward, uh, you know, you have to keep in mind that your CPU is going to be almost at 100%, even using a quad core. Um, I, I have an i5 in my gaming rig. I use a, a two PC setup. Um, it's quite complicated. I don't really want to put all that information into you now, but my gaming rig's an i5, and all I do is game on it. I don't stream on it at all. Um, because it really can't handle the quality I'm looking for out of my stream. But, uh, you know, you can get by with it. Uh, I've seen people use an i5 uh, and stream at 720. There's no way you're streaming at 1080. No way. Now, the optimal hardware and, and CPU for streaming is definitely a quad-core, but it's the i7 series. So it goes, if we're talking about Intel, we're, we're just talking about Intel because it's a little bit easier to follow with your numbering sequence. Intel, you have your i3. Intel, you have your i5, and in, Intel, you have your i7. Um, now, even though the optimal, optimal, you know, great point uh, is a quad core, it's the i7 series, which the hyper threading is like completely different versus the i5. And you can pretty much stream any level you really want right now with an i7, uh, give or take a few here and there. Um, so that's the optimal level. Um, and, and i7s are not cheap. You go out and look at a price of an i7, you're looking at 300 plus. 
Um, the series are different, but you know, an i7 2600 series is quite a few, a few years old. Uh, but the, a very, very, very common i7 on Twitch, if you check out a lot of the streamers, a very common CPU is the i7 3770. Um, that is a very, very common one. You see a lot of people running it. It's because the i7 can handle like gaming, music, Skype, um, uh, encoding uh, with, your, with, with the software and everything, uh, which is really, really strong. So um, that's pretty much our discussion about CPU. And the CPU is like the number one important thing about streaming. Um, the next section we're going to go over is internet speeds. And if you guys have any questions along the way, uh, let me go ahead and put a link in chat for you guys. Um, you know, feel free to go ahead and post them here. Um, and then I'll try to answer them depending on where they fit within the segments tonight. Um, you can ask them at www.ask.fm slash Octane Pro. Um, and let me go ahead and open that up here for us. Um, Ask.fm, Octane Pro. And okay, so I have that up in front of me right here. Um, you know, which is, which is really, really good here. Um, and people have, I will be getting to everyone's questions. I'll answer everyone's questions. If it's not now, definitely at the end, um, at, at where we have our full Q and a section. 